Black holes are known as the voids in space that eat up everything in their way. A black hole is a place in space where gravity pulls so much that even light cannot get out. The gravity is so strong because matter has been squeezed into a tiny space. It is so weird that even if we happened to fall into a black hole, our bodies would be ripped apart through spaghettification. But thanks to the powerful Hubble, this perspective has changed. Not all black holes are the same. Instead of being death, they can produce life. Yes, you heard it right. Scientists have found a black hole that is creating new stars instead of eating them. Isn't it strange? How is it happening? What is this strange new species of black hole? Where did it come from? This and so many other questions about this life-giving black hole will be answered today. Welcome to Cosmos Lab, your one station for all the news from space. Join us in today's video to find out about the new star creator. Hubble's performance is due in large part to its great altitude above the atmosphere, which eliminates several effects that impede ground-based observers. It has been collecting groundbreaking science observations that have transformed our fundamental knowledge of the universe for almost 31 years now. It made some amazing discoveries, including two moons of Pluto, Nix, and Hydra, the rate at which the universe is expanding, created a 3D map of dark matter, and the age of the universe that we know today, 13.8 billion years, is also because of the Hubble. In this list, Hubble has just added another major discovery by seeing a black hole that is triggering the star formation instead of devouring them. Hubble detected this black hole that is generating stars rather than destroying them in the tiny galaxy Henes 2-10. It's a 30 million light year dwarf galaxy in the southern constellation Pyxis. According to recent estimations, the dwarf galaxy has a mass of around 10 billion times that of our Sun. The Milky Way, on the other hand, has a mass of around 1.5 trillion solar masses. It's also classified as a starburst galaxy, meaning it has an unusual high rate of star production. This galaxy is known for testing scientists' assumptions. Apparently, the black hole is contributing to the firestorm of new star formation occurring in the galaxy. Galaxies that have active galactic nuclei, small regions of the center of a galaxy that emit large amounts of energy in the form of radio, optical, X-ray, gamma radiation, or high-speed particle jets, exhibit black hole-driven outflows. These events probably play a major role in heating and expelling gas, thereby suppressing star formation as they do in larger galaxies. The Henes 2-10 black hole, discovered a decade ago, sparked a dispute about whether black holes created in small galaxies are proportionate to enormous black holes seen in larger galaxies. The black hole, which has a mass of one million suns, has also sparked thoughts that black holes develop before galaxies do. The link between black holes, galaxy development, and star formation, on the other hand, is still unknown. According to researchers from NASA's Hubble Telescope, black holes' villainous reputation as destructive creatures enslaving light isn't totally accurate. According to the researchers, new Hubble views of the black hole in Henes 2-10 demonstrate that it contributes to the galaxy's firestorm, which is manufacturing new stars at unprecedented rates. NASA also explained why this particular black hole deviates from its own species' irresponsible conduct. Also, the black hole in this tiny galaxy is smaller than those analyzed by NASA. Because black holes have such tremendous gravitational attraction, 
some material that falls into them may be deflected and released as jets due to high magnetic fields. The black hole in Hines 2-10 is smaller, and the material it ejects moves considerably more slowly. The speed is exactly right for compressing the material sufficiently to form stars. This is not it. According to NASA, Hubble can observe the black hole's outflow snaking across space like an umbilical cord until it reaches the bright star nursery. According to Hubble's measurements, the outflow is flowing at a million miles per hour. It smacks into the dense gas of the star nursery at this speed, causing it to spread out like a garden hose hitting a pile of soil. NASA has discovered young star clusters everywhere along the outflow's course. In a published issue of Nature, Amy Reens, the principal investigator on the new Hubble Space Telescope investigation, said, Ten years ago, as a graduate student, thinking I'd spend my career on star formation, I looked at the data from Heaney's 2-10 and everything changed. Amy Reens, in a press release, said, From the beginning, I knew something unusual and special was happening in Heaney's 2-10, and now Hubble has provided a very clear picture of the connection between the black hole and a nearby star-forming region, 230 light-years away. Why is this astonishing for researchers? Because typical black holes ejected material jets are heated beyond their ability to cool back down, compress, and form stars because the jets usually travel at light speed. So, the NASA team was taken aback when they discovered that Heaney's 2-10's black hole was doing exactly the opposite. It was assisting in the formation of new stars. According to NASA, Heaney's 2-10, which contains one-tenth the number of stars found in our Milky Way galaxy, can play a significant role in resolving the mystery of where supermassive black holes originated in the first place. With that, we have come to the end of our video. Everything that we know about this universe is the result of the untiring efforts of scientists and the advanced technology they make. Hubble has done its best part in space observations, and now its successor is going to revolutionize the studies. Maybe we can find some other black holes that can generate a world like ours. What do you think about this life-giving black hole? Share with us in the comments section below. If you like the content, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, have a great day and thank you for watching.